Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News. I am Marithi Nasege. This is the latest this hour. Matthew Kanyamunyu, the executive director of Quantum Express Logistics, is among the 40 suspects who will be prosecuted in the criminal session that opened at High Court in Kampala. Kanyamunyu, his brother Joseph Kanyamunyu, and his Burundian girlfriend Cynthia Munangwari are accused of killing Kenneth Watun Akena, a child protection specialist with Akodel in Kasese district. The other suspects are facing charges ranging from murder, aggravated robbery, aggravated defilement, rape, kidnap with intent to procure a ransom and kidnap with intent to murder. While the rest of the suspects took plea, Kanyamunyo and his co-accused took plea much earlier and denied the charges when they first appeared before Justice Stephen Mubiru. The offenses attract maximum non-mandatory sentences of death on conviction. Justice Mubiru has set January 8th, 9th and 10th, 2020 as that's when Kanyamunyo's murder trial will kick off. Moving on, President Todoro Obiang Aguema Mbasongo of Equatorial Guinea will be in the country on Friday for a two-day official visit. President Mbasongo's visit comes shortly after United Nations High Commission for Refugees welcomed Equatorial Guinea's accession to the Kampala Convention on Internally Displaced People, becoming the 29th African Union member state to do so according to the Uganda National High Commission for Refugees. Now, the Kampala Convention is the world's first and only regional legally binding instrument for the protection and assistance of IDPs who often face heightened risks, violations, and sexual violence because of their displacement while they, while they struggle to access their rights and basic protection. Let's move away from Uganda. News coming in from New Zealand. The families and friends of Australian victims of the White Island Volcano tragedy paid tribute to wonderful lost loved ones Wednesday and expressed doubt they were met aware of the risks of visiting the island. Seven of the nine people so identified and named as missing by New Zealand police are from Australia. An eighth Australian victim who died in hospital was named by authorities there late Wednesday. Then that number is expected to increase. Now many more of the victims are expected to have been dead shippers from a cruise ship that left from Sydney. Closing of news this hour is a story from Israel. Now, Parliament began rushing through a bill on Wednesday to call a third general election within a year as talks between embattled Premier Benjamin Netanyahu and his centrist rival broke down ahead of a midnight deadline. A deal to avert a new election must be reached before 11.59 PM. But Netanyahu and his rival Bonnie Gantiz, both of whom have failed to build a governing majority in the current set of parliament since a deadlock vote in September, have spent days trading blame for the failing coalition talks. And that's all I had for you this hour. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other stories here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth The Voice. Thank you for watching. Thank you.